back everyone i hope everyone had a very merry christmas and it's good to be back i have a 12 by 12 layout and i'm starting with this beautiful photo of my the little ephemera that you see there it's a little saying and it says your sweet smile melts my heart and it's an ek success one and i've had this in my stash for well let's just say well over a decade and I came across it while cleaning up my craft room and I thought, you know what, I'm going to use it. And I knew I had the perfect photo here. And so I printed out my photo and all I had to do was find the paper. So the first thing I did was I wanted to map my photo and I wanted my photo to stand from the, stand out from the page. So I'm going to be using, for the first mat of my photo, I'm going to be using the Kayser Craft paper from the Golden Grove collection and it is called Fallen Leaves. My background paper is also from the Golden Grove collection and it is called Greenery. I'm going to take this opportunity to apologise for my absence. I've been so busy with organising everything prior to Christmas. And as much as I love Christmas, my gosh, it's a lot of work, but well worth the effort. And I just love putting on a show for the family. So, you know, it just got a little bit overwhelming, but it's good to be back in the craft room and it's good to be back creating. The inspiration for this whole layout basically came from that one EK success ephemera or sticker whatever you want to call it um, it becomes my title your sweet smile melts my heart which it really does but I drew all the colors from that one ephemera and I love how bright and cheery this whole layout is it really just suits my son's personality I'm also going to be using the branding strip because I love the little message there. It says love lots and live well and I just thought that's an appropriate little message to give to my son when he's looking back through these albums in however many years time. I want him to be looking at the photos, reminiscing about his childhood but also to be reading all my little messages or at least I hope he reads all the little messages that I leave here for him. I love that this layout made me use some of my stash. This is another oldie. It's from, it's chipboard from WOW and it's called the Vintage Car Pack. So it's great that it's finally getting onto a layout and not sitting in a cupboard somewhere. I just want to add, because I don't think I put it on camera, I did ink all my papers with some Distress Oxide and the colour that I used is Bundled Sage. I just love how bright and happy this whole layout is. It really suits my son's personality. It just makes me, I look at this layout and it still makes me smile even now as I'm narrating. It's just a happy, happy layout. I should add that all my papers that I'm using today are from Kayser Craft and I got them from Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft. So if you want to get your hands on these gorgeous papers, I will leave a link in the description below to her online store. Next, I will be doing some mixed media on my layout because I love doing mixed media on my layouts. I think the reason why I love mixed media so much is because, let's face it, we all can buy the same paper and our layouts can sort of look a little bit all the same even though we all cut them up differently and we use them in different ways I just like the the originality that a bit of mixed media can add it changes the feel of the paper it changes the look of the paper so the very first thing I did was I just used some clear gesso so that it strengthened my paper and it could take all the mixed media I was going to do and then I inked the edges with the distress oxide in bundled sage and I will be doing the popular packaging technique so I'm going to be using my Distress Oxide Spray Stain and it is called Shabby Shutters and yes I did miss some of the for some reason I wasn't recording at the beginning but uh, the te packaging technique is you just put your medium onto some packaging in this case it was my Distress Spray and you just plonk it down onto the paper and you just keep on doing this till You've got your paper covered however you want. I'm also going to be using the same spray to add some splatters. And that's about it. I like how that looks but I decided I wanted more texture to my layout. So I got some of my texture paste and I'm going to add some of these colour burst colours here. And this one is lime green. 
and I quite it wasn't quite the right color I wanted so what I did was I wanted a bit more of that yellow in because of our gum leaves it got that more olivey look so I added some of the yellow ochre to it and well on the screen that I'm looking at for some reason my green looks a horrible gray color so I hope you've got a better screen resolution than mine but it's not actually my computer screen it is actually the the webcam that I'm using to record for some reason it's not picking up my green colors so I'm just going to use a stencil from my stash and I absolutely love how or just all these random dots just draw your eye to the picture I put everything back together again and it's time to work on my little car so as chipboard is quite porous I'm just going to add a layer of gesso and while the gesso is drying I'm going to be fussy cutting some of these gorgeous gum leaves. The gum leaves are from the Under the Gum Leaves collection from Kaisercraft and the actual paper is called Gum Leaves of course. So I'm going to be using these gum leaves on the top right hand corner and the bottom left hand corner. Then I went to my stash and one thing that I've been doing is I've been getting all my ephemera that I never use and I've been colour coordinating everything. So this little box here holds all my green colours and I just went through and picked anything that I thought might, might go well. So you see the little camera on the uh, bottom, what is it, the bottom left hand corner there. I thought that that went really well with my son's jumper. I'm going to be sticking down my title and it's time to work on my little car. So I thought I wanted it gold and I did like the look of that and it, it really toned down in the end. So I'm going to, for, for the wheels, I decided I wanted to use up these little flowers that came with the EK Success title. I'm going to put one also in my little camera, little yellow one there and using up a bit more of my green ephemera and I oh yes I also got out my little yellow box of ephemera so all the work I did to color coordinate all my ephemera I still not finished but I do think it's going to help me use it up more because I can actually go to those colors and sort of think I think I want to use this color bring it out and use it so that's the plan anyway thank you all for watching here are some close-ups I would love it if you subscribe to my little channel. I hope to grow it more in 2020. And yes, thank you all for your support. Thank you all for your comments. I really do appreciate the time and effort that people do make to comment on YouTubers' videos. It really does help us a lot. And once again, thank you all so much. Till next time. Bye, everybody.